What a lovely morning, thought Thomas, looking out of Tibna's sheds. And off he went. Thomas was staring right at the ground. Where has the turntable gone? The turntable connected all the sheds together, so only one piece of track was needed to get to them. But today, it wasn't there. What's all the noise? said James. What have you done with the turntable, Thomas? said Gordon. How are we going to work today? said Henry. Are you all right, Thomas? said Percy. Sir Topham Hatt arrived. I'm not quite sure what's happened, he said, but I'll get a new turntable put in straight away. <laughs> On the other side of town, laughter could be heard. Tom Moss the prank engine. I think it might have been you. It didn't take the engineers long to fit a new turntable and Thomas was the first engine to use it. It was good to get out on the track again and Thomas was enjoying the journey. Then he had a bit of luck. He heard Tom Moss laughing and immediately knew that it was him who took the turntable. I need a plan, he thought. Yes, I know. Off he went to meet Percy and James and he told them his plan. A little later on, he met Percy near Tom's tunnel. Tell the other engines to meet me by the signals at the garden shop, Thomas told Percy quite loud, in one hour's time. They left, but Thomas doubled back. He saw Tom Moss leave his tunnel. The plan was working. Tom went towards the garden shop and changed all the signals to red. Then he hid. Meanwhile, with Tom on the other side of town and out of his tunnel, Percy and James were very busy bringing large bricks backwards and forwards. they completely bricked up the back of the tunnel. They also hid a pile of bricks behind the trees near the front of the tunnel. Thomas went to the garden shop. The signals were red, so he waited. And waited and waited. <laughs> Having caught Thomas, Tom Moss crept away. <laughs> Thomas saw this and knew the light wasn't really red and followed. Tom, pleased with his work, reversed into his tunnel. Percy and James sprung into action and bricked up the front of the tunnel. Thomas arrived. Did it work? he said. Yes, said Percy. He's now trapped and won't ever get out. But as they were celebrating, Tom Moss burst through the wall and headed for the forest. After him, Percy, said Thomas. But Percy didn't move quick enough and Thomas knocked him over and came off the track himself. 
Oh dear. Tom Moss got away again. Tom Moss the prank engine had found some new friends. <laughs> Yo ho ho, walk that plank. <laughs> the pirate minions had found some new transport. But what they really wanted was a pirate ship. Tom Moss took them to the docks to see if there was a ship. Salty was busy moving cargo around. He was always at the docks. Ship! shouted a minion, but it was only a rowing boat. All they saw was Salty moving cargo. Tom Moss took the minions back home. Ship! Ship! They found a ship, but it was nowhere near any water. How could they sail in it? They went away to think. The minions weren't very good at thinking, but Tom Moss had an idea. <laughs> they set off for the ship. When they got there, Tom Moss was uncoupled from the trucks. The minions lifted the ship onto the trucks. The ship's anchor was attached to Tom Moss and he started to pull the ship. At the docks, Salty was busy. Tom Moss realised he had to keep Salty away so they could launch the ship. He had an idea. <laughs> Tom then went back to the ship. Salty came round the corner. He hit the cargoes and his wheels left the track. Poor Salty. He was stranded. Tom Moss brought the pirate ship and they launched it into the sea. Ship ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> Tom Moss was pleased with his day's work <laughs> and left. Then he heard a familiar voice and stopped. It was Thomas. Tom Moss knew he had to run for it now. The minions saw their friend in trouble. But before they could do anything, they sank. It was only a playground ship, not a real one. The minions swam to shore. Tom Moss made it back to his tunnel. It was a very special day for Gordon and Spencer. 
they were both due to pull some very important coaches. They stopped for a quick chat. Are you as excited as I am? asked Gordon. Oh, I think I'm more excited, replied Spencer. We've got to make sure that we stay clean today, said Gordon. Well, it's almost time to pull the coaches. I think we'll be fine, replied Spencer. How he regretted saying that. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom Moss. And he's pulling what looks to be an engine. <laughs> but it wasn't an engine. He reversed up to Spencer and sprayed him with mud. Oh, that's disgusting, he cried. Tom did the same thing to Gordon. <laughs> oh no, we can't pull the coaches looking like this, he cried. <laughs> Quick, get Tom, cried Spencer. So Gordon chased. But as he got close, Tom sprayed him again. Oh. <laughs> so Tom made it back to his tunnel. So Spencer and Gordon had to pull the very important coaches covered in mud. It was very embarrassing. So later that day, they told their story to James and Thomas. Oh, that's awful, cried James. Tom needs stopping, said Gordon. We need to come up with a plan, added Thomas. Hmm, I've got an idea, said Spencer, and he told the others. That evening, Thomas and James were pretending to sleep, and they'd put some paint cans right beside them. Out came Tom. <laughs> he looked for someone to prank, and saw the paint and two sleeping trains. <laughs> So he painted them. He painted Thomas green and James yellow and black, like a bee. Boo! they cried. Tom ran. He won't get very far, said James. Spencer blocked Tom's path. And so did Gordon. until he was completely trapped. Yes, we've got him, cried Thomas. But Tom hadn't given up. He barged James out of the way. Spencer, get him, yelled Thomas. So Spencer chased him. James was shoved out of the way, but before Tom could escape, Spencer derailed him. Yes, he's not going anywhere now, cried James. Sir Topham Hat arrived. Tom, you've caused nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Uh -oh. oh dear, it looks like Tom is doomed. Will he escape? Find out soon. Previously, Ugh! Oh. We need to get Tom. Boo! Uh -oh. Spencer blocked Tom. Uh -oh. And derailed him. Sir Tom has arrived. Tom, you've caused nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Now. 
Tom was put on a truck. Gordon, can you take him to the scrapyard? asked Sir Topham Hat. With pleasure, smiled Gordon. What was that? asked James. It was Iron Man. Be careful, he warned. Lots of bad guys and supervillains will try to rescue Tom, as they don't want to see him off the track. This cheered Tom up. How can we stop them? asked Thomas. Well, myself, Superman, Spider-Man and Batman are all on the lookout. Ultron! Give me Tom! He ordered. In your dreams, replied Iron Man. There will be more bad guys after Tom, warned Iron Man. Alright, Gordon, go as quickly as you can, said Sir Topham Hat. So he coupled up to the truck, and off he went. The Riddler stopped him first. Stop! Give me Tom! Never! cried Gordon. Superman sensed the danger and dived down. Quick Gordon, while he's down! Go, go, go! cried Superman. He sped off. Dr. Octopus changed the signal. <laughs> Not on my watch, said Spider-Man. He tried to hold Dr. Octopus down. Gordon had to stop. I need backup, cried Spider-Man. Iron Man landed and changed the signal. So Gordon sped off. Batman was up ahead, but so was Frank. Uh oh, said Batman, as the Joker was riding Frank. They blocked Gordon's path. There's Tom, said the Joker. Don't worry Gordon, I'll deal with him, said Batman. He got in the Batmobile. But while all of that was going on, Nobody noticed Penguin behind Gordon, and he uncoupled the trucks. Batman chased Frank and the Joker away, and Gordon saw the opportunity to continue with his journey. But he didn't realise that he was no longer pulling Tom. He ran into Percy. Sorry, can't stop Percy, I'm taking Tom Moss to the scrapyard, said Gordon. No you're not, said Percy. What? cried Gordon. He was no longer pulling Tom. Oh, I reckon the Joker and Frank was just a distraction, he realised. So they both raced back to find him. Penguin was getting impatient. Lex Luthor was meant to come and collect them with his new train. Suddenly, Tom started moving by himself. But nothing was pushing him. What? Nothing was touching him at all, yet he was moving. Gordon and Percy arrived and immediately realised how he was moving. Oh no, anyone but that, cried Percy. They knew that they were in big trouble now. Find out why soon. Uh oh, that sounds like Tom Moss, and he's up to something. Oh no, he spotted a bridge that's still under construction. It's far from finished. Looks like he has a plan. Nearby, Thomas was hard at work.
he came across the bridge and stopped. How's it going? asked Thomas to the digging rigs. Well, it's definitely not safe for a train to use yet, said Chomper. But while Thomas was distracted, Tom arrived and tampered with Thomas's brakes. But he didn't realise. So Thomas said goodbye and off he went. But Tom wasn't finished yet. He changed the points to send Thomas towards the unfinished bridge. So as Thomas approached, he noticed that the points were wrong. But he couldn't stop. <laughs> Thomas tried to warn the digging rigs vehicles. Oh no, Thomas can't stop, cried Chomper. We've got to do something, said Philip. So they sprung into action. Thomas was approaching very quickly. But luckily, they fixed it just in time. Thank you guys, said Thomas, but he still couldn't stop, and he was heading towards Tom. Thomas started chasing Tom. And because Tom was in a hurry, he went the wrong way. He started heading towards the bridge. And then... Tom got stuck on the bridge. Yes, we've caught Tom Moss again, cried Philip. But Thomas still couldn't stop, and he was also heading towards the bridge. Unfortunately, he accidentally freed Tom and got stuck himself. So Tom ran away, back into his tunnel. And Thomas was stuck. Sorry guys, apologised Thomas. Oh, it wasn't your fault, Thomas, said Chomper. We're just glad that you're okay. Let's get you off that bridge, said Philip. So Chomper helped him down. Thanks, guys, said Thomas. No problem, they replied. It didn't take them long to finish the bridge. But Tom had escaped once again. Hello Tom Moss the Prank Engine, what have you got attached to your engine? You found it and you're not going to tell me what it is. You're going to cause trouble again aren't you? <laughs> Thomas was having a good day. But then he heard something. Thomas, come and see me at Maithwaite Station straight away. That sounds exciting, thought Thomas. I must go at once. Uh oh, here's trouble. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? said Thomas. 
No, I didn't want to see you here, said Sir Topham Hatt angrily. I want to see you on your branch line. But you called for me. Go. Thomas left, very annoyed. What's got into him, thought Thomas. Percy was busy moving cargo around. Then he heard a voice. Percy, you are dropping your cargo everywhere. Go back and pick it all up now. Oh no, thought Percy. Dropping cargo? That's terrible. You again? Something's going on here. <laughs> Percy turned round and started retracing his journey. He kept stopping but couldn't find any dropped cargo anywhere. Thomas met Percy and they told each other their stories. I need to find out what's going on, said Thomas. James was moving some of Farmer McColl's cattle when he heard a voice. James, some of your cattle have escaped and are running wild. Oh no, thought James. How could that have happened? I must find them all at once. It's you. That's a megaphone, isn't it? <laughs> But this time, Thomas saw everything. While James was busy searching for his cattle, Thomas thought of a plan. Tom Moss was enjoying his prank when he heard a voice. Tom Moss, your tunnel is on fire. Uh -oh. Tom was horrified and left immediately. Thomas came out from the trees with his own megaphone. Good plan, Thomas. Tom steamed back to his tunnel. No fire on this side. It must be the other. Tom realised that he had been pranked. He quickly reversed and Thomas went after him. Thomas was catching him up, but when he approached Maithwaite, Sir Topham Hatt stopped him. Thomas, why are you still here? I told you to get back to work on your branch line. But, but sir, said Thomas. No buts, Thomas. Go back to work. Tom saw Thomas in trouble and knew that he was safe again. <laughs> Previously, Tom, you've been nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Iron Man arrived. Lots of bad guys and supervillains will try to rescue Tom. Gordon, go as quickly as you can. Stop! Give me Tom! Never! Penguin uncoupled the trucks. Tom started moving, but nothing was touching him. Oh no, anyone but that, cried Percy. Now. It's him, cried Percy. He's moving Tom. What are we going to do? asked Gordon. Even Tom was scared. It's. It's. Darth Vader! 
Tom, together we can rule Sodor, he said. Tom liked the sound of that. Vader used the force to lift Tom. And put him back on the track. Gordon and Percy were scared, so they ran back to tell the others. <laughs> Thomas, Spencer and James had washed, and were wondering if Gordon had made it to the scrapyard. Guys, guys, we have a problem, he panted. What is it Gordon? asked Thomas. Darth Vader helped Tom escape, cried Percy. Darth Vader, cried Spencer and James. We need help, said Sir Topham Hat. So they called the superheroes, but they didn't know how to deal with Darth Vader. He's far too powerful, said Batman. Who can help us deal with him? asked Iron Man. Thomas had an idea. Nearby, Tom and Vader were making their presence felt. <laughs> what? Whoa! Ah! Hide! Hide! Over here, cried Thomas. Tom noticed him and wanted revenge, so he sped towards him, but didn't think it through. <coughs> the signal hit Darth Vader off. Thomas ran, with Tom just behind. Train. complained Vader. A Star Wars rebel fighter approached him. You, cried Vader. Out stepped Luke Skywalker. Thomas told me you were here. Leave these poor trains alone, he said. But Vader resisted, so they dueled. Vader went in for a strong lunge, but Luke evaded it. Huh? Gordon approached them. And knocked Vader over. He was defeated. Well done, Gordon, said Luke. Oh, thank Thomas. He came up with the plan, Gordon replied. So Luke dealt with Vader. And as for Tom, well, it took Thomas a while to realise that Tom had stopped chasing him. Where did he go? wondered Thomas. Turns out that Tom had no interest in chasing Thomas. He just wanted to be nice and safe back in his own tunnel. <laughs> So everyone regrouped. Well done everyone, said Sir Topham Hat. You all showed great bravery today. Tom did get away though, said James. But he's just glad he's not heading to the scrapyard, said Gordon. He won't bother us for a while. So Tom was back in his tunnel, thinking up of his next prank.
we are, the haunted house. This is where the stolen gold should be. Let's knock on the door. Shaggy and Scooby? Yes? Go and check the conservatory for clues. Let's find the gold. <laughs> hey, look, Scoob, a clue. Uh oh. Ah, ghost. What? What? Velma, Daphne, ghost. somewhere in this room. But watch out for traps. Oh, look out! Hey, Daphne, check under the floor. Here's the key. <laughs> ah, monster! Scoop, let's try and find some food. Oh, look, it's a burger. I think it's fine to eat. There's no rats anywhere. Uh, maybe I won't eat it. This must be where the stolen gold is. It. Mystery solved.
Oh no. Hey Lightning McQueen, said Fred. What's the matter? I'm so glad I found you guys. There's a scary tree in the forest. And it's come alive. Oh no. Come on gang, let's check it out. Here we are, said Fred. Let's set up our base here. And the mystery machine opened up. Hey Scoob, look over there. I think it's a clue, said Shaggy excitedly. And they both walked over to it. It's a newspaper article. The tree must be close by. Fred, I think the tree is around here. We must be ready. Have you got a torch? Check, said Fred. Camera? Check. Magnifying glass? Check. Food? Fruit? Um, no, sorry Shaggy, I don't think so. Oh, I'm starving. I'll go and have a look for some. <laughs> uh oh, Scoob, the radar says the tree is very close. Ooh, a sandwich. It's the tree! Ah! Come on Scoob, we must find Shaggy, he's in danger! Let's go Scoob! by that gem. All we have to do is get that gem. Fred? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it. Ooh, ouch. Uh oh. Ha ha, you're trapped. Good work, gang. Another mystery solved. Thomas and Percy were hard at work. But strange things kept on happening. First of all, a water tower acted strangely. It randomly turned on and leaked a lot of water. Thomas stopped. Hmm, that's strange, he thought. Oh well, it must be broken. I better report it to Sir Topham Hat later. And off he went. But it wasn't leaking because it was broken. Percy then encountered something strange. He had to stop at a signal. Hmm, both of the signals say stop, he thought. But then...
it was changing by itself. Percy was a bit confused, but then thought maybe it was just the wind changing them, so he thought nothing of it and continued with his journey. But it wasn't the wind that was changing it. Thomas then came across something on the track. He had to stop. There were some abandoned trucks on the track. Hmm, how did they get there, he wondered, when suddenly... They moved by themselves. Thomas was stunned. But at least it wasn't Darth Vader moving them this time. Thomas was now a bit spooked, so he fled. What was moving the trucks? He ran over to Percy. Percy! Some weird things are happening, he said. I know! What's going on? asked Percy. Perhaps Sodor is haunted, suggested Thomas. No, there's no such thing as ghosts, said Percy. Suddenly, a chilling wind picked up. Come on, let's finish our job so we can get back into our nice warm sheds, said Percy. Thomas agreed. So they both continued with their jobs. Nearby, Tom Moss wanted to have some fun. <laughs> he thought if he changed the points, he could make Thomas and Percy collide. <laughs> But shortly after he changed it, they changed back. Tom was confused. He tried to change it again. But it changed back again. He was frustrated, but when he looked around, he saw all of the spooky things happening. He wanted no part of this madness, so he ran back to his tunnel. <laughs> Later on, Thomas and Percy had finished their jobs. Come on, let's get back to the sheds, said Percy. Yes, and we can forget about these strange things that have happened, added Thomas. They were about to go when they heard... What was that? cried Percy. It sounded like a ghost, said Thomas. Then, out of the corner of their eyes, they saw something fade away. Did you see that? asked Thomas. I did, said Percy. Find out what that was soon. <laughs> <laughs>